Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Miss Molinado here, uh, ready to read you a new story. And today I'm going to read you Dr. Dog. Dr. Dog, I mentioned previously, is a super silly, funny story about a family whose dog is their doctor and how he helps them get better um, by following certain rules. Dr. Dog, written by Babette Cole. This is the Gumboil family, and this is their dog. He is a doctor. Dr. Dog went to a conference in Brazil to give a talk about bone marrow. While he was away, Granddad and the Gumboil family got sick. We better get him back, said Ma Gumboil. I'm going to try to get the book as close as possible. So they sent a message to Brazil. We are all ill. Come home. Love the Gumboils. And Dr. Dog came home. Kirk Gumboil had been secretly smoking in the bicycle shed. Ooh, he had a wicked cough. It's not good to smoke, said Dr. Dog. These spongy things inside our chests are called the lungs. They are our breathing machines. Smoke fills them up with dirty tar. Then they don't work properly, and so we cough. Very important, boys and girls, to keep your lungs clean and clear so you can have good breathing. Gertie Gumboil had not been wearing her raincoat and hat. She caught a cold and got a sore throat. The germs attacked her tonsils. She's got tonsillitis, said Dr. Dog. I will have to operate. So he took them out. Kev Gumboil was scratching his head like mad. He's got this, said Dr. Dog. These are eggs laid by little insects called lice. This is one. They live in your hair. He plastered Kev's hair with smelly shampoo to kill the lice and Kev had to wear it at all day at school. Never swap combs and brushes or hats with anyone, said Dr. Dog. Baby Gumboil did not wash his hands after going to the toilet. Then he sucked his thumb and he let other children stick their fingers up his nose. So he got a tummy ache. Oh, he's caught worms, said Dr. Dog. They are breeding in his tubes. Always wash your hands after going to the bathroom and don't put your fingers in your mouth. The worms wriggle inside you until they reach your bottom. There they lay itchy little eggs. If you scratch your bum, the eggs go under your fingernails. Sucking your thumb makes the eggs go back into your tummy where they hatch into more worms again. Never scratch your bum and suck your thumb, said Dr. Dog. I know I won't be scratching my bum or sucking my thumbs. Fiona Gumboil felt dizzy. It's all those cartwheels she's been turning, laughed her parents. Nonsense, growled Dr. Dog. She's got an earache. There are tiny bones inside our ears that help us balance. An earache can make these effects and make us dizzy. Dr. Dog gave her some pills. Granddad had been eating too many baked beans. He's got a terrible wind, said Dr. Dog. Here's a picture of your insides. Baked beans make gases in your tummy. The only way they can escape is to blast them out of your bottom. 
What do I tell you boys and girls? I always say it is okay to fart. It's better to get your gases out than keep them in. You know, you could die if you keep your gases in. I'd rather smell a stinky fart than have you have a tummy ache. Yeah. It's disgusting, Dr. Dog told Ma and Pa Gumboyle. If you don't take better care of your family, there will be a serious accident. So what, said the Gumboyles. We've got you to look after us, haven't we? Meanwhile, Granddad's dangerous gases were building up, and then... Bang! He farted so hard, he blew the roof off the house. Told you so, said Dr. Dog. Told you so. Once the roof had been put back and he made everyone better, Dr. Dog felt ill himself. You're suffering from stress, Dog, his doctor said. What you need is a holiday away from that pesky family. Just what the doctor ordered, said Dr. Dog. They'll never find me here. Oh no, said Dr. Dog. And the note in the bottle right there says, Need holiday to recover from accident. We are joining you soon. Love the gumboils. Hmm. And that is the story of Dr. Dog. Thank you for listening to my read aloud today. Uh, this format is normally how I will be reading a book to you, but I think there are some days where I'm going to just be showing you the pages and narrating, or other times where I'll be doing this, and there are other times where it'll have a chapter book, and there'll be no pages, just me narrating a story. Thank you.